Good morning, children. Last class, we learnt long division, isn't it? Let us continue with long division today also. Before going to today's class, let's see the symbol for long division and the terms used in long division. Are you all ready, children? Children, let's continue with the long division method. So we know this is the symbol for long division. So this is the symbol for long division. The terms are arranged like this. Divisor, dividend, quotient. Isn't it? So, for example, I am going to divide 12 divided by 3. Now, arrange like this. Divisor, dividend. So, whenever you start division, look for the first digit children. Okay, here, See, the first digit is less than the divisor. Okay, always the first digit should equal to or greater than the divisor. Okay, if it is greater than or equal to divisor, we can take only one digit and we can divide. Okay, if it is less than the divisor, we have to take the next digit also for division. So, I am taking two also for division now. Okay, so see two, three tables now. Three ones are three. 3 2s are 6, 3 3s are 9, 3 4s are 12, 3 4s are 12, isn't it? So 4 times 12, write 4 at the top, take 12 and write here, 2 minus 2, 0, 1 minus 1, 0. So reminder, quotient, so answer is equals to 4, Third, 12 divided by 3 is equals to 4. Answer is equals to 4. Now, let's move on to the next sum. 36 divided by 2. So, we are going to do this by long division method. 2, 36. Okay, children. Now, look for the first digit. It is 3 here, isn't it? It is greater than the divisor. Divisor is a very number. Yeah. So, we have 3 matto na edithu kroi pa division ke. Okay, va? Ena, divisor is a 3 vandhi rupa periya number. Yeah. Adhanal, we have 3 matto edithu na divide panna poro. Seri ya? Ipo, 2 tables vallunga. 2 1s are 2. 2 2s are 4. 2 1s are 4. So, 2 kapra na milikka 4 vandhi rupa chilli ya? So, the number which is Less than 3. Which is less than 3? 2 here. Isn't it? So, write. Write 2 here. Because 2 is the nearest lesser number. Isn't it? Okay. 3 irkama 2 tables like illa. Adnala we have to look for the nearest small number. Which is nearest to lesser number? 2. Isn't it? So, take this 2. And write here. How many times? 1 times, isn't it? So, 1 times 2. Now, subtract 3 minus 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. Now, look here, 1. It is less than the divisor. We can't divide, isn't it? So, take the next digit, 6. Now, it is 16. Now, say 2 tables. Now look for 16 children. Say 2 tables. 2 3's are 6. 2 4's are 8. 2 5's are 10. 2 6's are 12. 2 7's are 14. 2 8's are 16. So 2 8's are 16. We got 16. How many times? 8 times. See when you are taking the first number. The number should be at the top of the first one. Again, when you are taking the second number, the number should be at the top of the second number. Okay. Now write 16. Subtract 6 minus 6, 0. 1 minus 1, 0. So 18 is the quotient. Reminder is 0. So 36 divided by 2 is equals to 18. Understood children? Now we will move on to next sum. 
The next sum is 39 divided by 3. Here 3, 39. Now, look for the first digit. 3 here and divisor also 3. Both are equal. So, we can divide with the first number, first digit. Okay. So, we know 3 ones are 3. So, 1 times 3. So, write 1 at the top and write 3 here. Then subtract. 3 minus 3 it is 0. Now, take the next number. 9. 3 ones are 3. 3 twos are 6. 3 threes are 9. Say 3 tables and look for 9. It is 3 times, isn't it? So, write 3 here. And write 9 down. 0. Quotient is 13. So, Q is equals to 13. Okay, 39 divided by 3 is equals to 13. Answer is equals to 13. And as to children, look here. Both these numbers are equal, isn't it? First digit. It is equal with the divisor. So, I am taking only one digit. And I am dividing first. Okay. Then one day I am taking the next number. Okay children. We will move on to the next sum. The next one is 32 divided by 2. 2. 32. Now. Whenever I start division. What I should do? I should look for the first digit here. Isn't it? What is the first digit here? 3. It is greater than the divisor. So, I can divide with one digit. Okay. So, 2 ones are 2. 2 twos are 4. There are no 3's in 2 tables. So, look for the nearest lesser number. It is 2. Isn't it? So, 1 times 2. 3 minus 2. It is 1. So, take the Next one, number. Next digit. It is 12 now. 2 2's are 4. 2 3's are 6. 2 4's are 8. 2 5's are 10. 2 6's are 12. We got 12. How many times? 6 times. So 6 times 12. Subtract now 2 minus 2 0. 1 minus 1 0. This is a reminder. This is then it's to children. So Q is equals to 16. 32 divided by 2 is equals to 16. 16 is the answer. Children, next we will see divide with 3 digit numbers. Okay. So 5 100 and 75. Now look for the first digit. This 1 here, isn't it? So we can't divide with single number because it is less than the divisor. So I am taking the next digit also that is 17. Okay. Now say 5 tables. 5 ones are 5. 5 twos are 10. 5 threes are 15. 5 fours are 20. Isn't it? There are no 17s in. There are no 17 in 5 tables. So look for the nearest lesser number. Which is the nearest lesser number? 15. Isn't it? 17 number 15. Yeah. So 15. How many times? 3 times. So 3 times 15. Subtract now. 7 minus 5, 7 in your mind, 5 on your fingers. Okay. So, 7 minus 5, 2. 1 minus 1, 0. Now, take the next number because it is 2 here, isn't it? So, we can't divide. So, take the next number, 5. Now, it is 25. Look for 25 in 5 tables. Say 5 tables again. Recall 5 tables. So, recall 5 tables. 5, 5 is 20. 5. So, how many times? 5 times 25. So, 5 times 25. 5 minus 5, 0. 
subtraction and 5 minus 5 0, 2 minus 2 0. The answer is 35, 175 divided by 5 is equal to 35, right? Quotient is equal to 35. If they ask for dividend divisor, you, can, you should also write dividend divisor also. Here quotient is enough, okay? Answer is equal to 35. Understood children? Now we move on to the next sum. Now, 276 divided by 4. Children, we have to divide this using long division. Isn't it? So, 4, 276. Now, look for the first number, children, as usual. Look for the first digit. It is 2 less than 4. So, I am taking the next digit also, 27. So, 27. Now, recall 4 tables. 4 ones are 4, 4 twos are 8, 4 threes are 12, 4 fours are 16, 4 fives are 20, 4 sixes are 24, 4 sevens are 28. Can you say any 27 here? No, isn't it? The next number is 20, the, line, the number is 28 here which is greater than 27. We want 27. There is no 27 in 4 tables. So, look for the nearest lesson number. It is 24. 27 is less than 24. So, take 24. Take 24. Write it here. How many times it is 24? 6 times, isn't it? So, write 6. Now, subtract. 7 minus 4. What is 7 minus 4? 7 in your mind. 4 on your fingers. Before 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Isn't it? Take right 3 here. 2 minus 2 it is 0. Isn't it? Now, take the next number. 6. Now, recall 4 tables and look for 36. 4 eights are 32. 4 nines are 36. We got 36 in 4 tables. Isn't it? How many times? 9 times. How many times children? 9 times. So, take this 9 and write at the top. Write 36 here. 6 minus 6 it is 0. 3 minus 3 0. 69 is the quotient. Answer is equals to 69. Answer is equals to 69. Okay. 117 divided by 3. So, 117. So, again I am going to take 2 numbers here. Now, recall 3 tables. So, 3 ones are 3. 3 twos are 6. 3 threes are 9. 3 fours are 12. So, no 11 is there in 3 tables. Isn't it? So, look for the nearest lesson number. Which is the nearest lesson number? It is 9. Isn't it? How many times? 3 times. So, write 3 at the top. Write 3 at the top. And write 9. Okay. Now, subtract. Can you subtract this? 1 minus 9. No, isn't it? So, borrow. 11 minus 9, it is 2. Here it is 0. Now, take the next number. 27 now. So, 3 fives are, again recall, 3 tables. 3 fives are 15. 3 six are 18. 3 sevens are 21. 3 eights are 24. 3 nines are 27. We got 27. How many times? 9 times. Isn't it? So, 27. How many times? 9 times. So, subtract 7 minus 7, 0. 2 minus 2, 0. So, 39 is the quotient. Quotient is equal to 39. 
So this is by borrowing method. Okay, division by borrowing. By subtracting, you can borrow and then you can subtract. Okay, children. So then I hope you all understood. I will give you some more sums to do as homework. See you all in the next class, children. Thank you.